You might find the LED specification confusing as there are several names of motherboard's RGB header. This video will walk you through the specification of different headers and LED devices. Hope you will find it less confusing next time when you install ARGB devices. First off, let's check the overview of LED headers. The main difference of these headers is the pin layout. JRGB headers are 4 pins, 12 volt. J Rainbow and JARGB V2 headers are 3 pins, 5 volts. You can easily tell that RGB and addressable RGB devices are not interchangeable by the pins layout. Installing LED to the wrong header can lead to an interesting journey. In terms of LED control, the LED beads on RGB strips are not addressable. So the RGB strips connected to a JRGB header will be considered as a single LED bead and the whole LED strip is going to display the same color. ARGB devices, as known as addressable RGB, can control each LED bead on the strip to display different color at the same time. As for ARGB V2 devices, each bead is seen as a single LED device. You can not only apply different colors, but also different LED styles to each bead. Now, let's check how the LED styles actually look like on the devices. Take LED style rainbow for example. The whole LED device will light up in red, orange, yellow sequence. ARGB strips display a moving rainbow. ARGB V2 device can apply more than one effect on it. If you are synchronizing all LED devices with Meteor, you will see the lighting moving along on ARGB strip, whereas on the RGB strip, you will only see the strip flashing, because the LED device is considered as a single LED bulb, as we previously mentioned. Note that in order to have complete ARGB V2 LED control, you need to install V2 LED devices to the correct headers. Once you install the ARGB V2 devices to JARGB V2 header, you can find the new Gen2 LED control user interface in the latest update of MSI Center feature, Mystic Light. Note that different RGB headers have different limitations. For example, the maximum amount of LED beads, the connection, and the LED control. You can find the details of them in the motherboard's manuals. Lastly, give us a like if you find this video helpful. Leave comments if you have any questions regarding LED devices. I will see you next time. Bye!